are going to learn the process of writing an argumentative essay in five short videos. We normally use a five paragraph structure common in other types of essay, with two arguments supporting our view and one against. This is not the only way to write an essay. Six paragraphs are also often used. Today we will use five, which is also known as a hamburger essay. This is made up of an introduction, three body paragraphs and a conclusion. Let's start at the beginning. In this section, we're going to analyse the question and plan our essay effectively. It's important to plan your essay first. This ensures your reader can follow the progression of your argument. In an exam, it will also mean you get good marks for organisation and structure. Look for clues in the essay question. This will tell you what the task requires. Find these and they will help you answer it effectively. The main clues we can get from the text are Why indicates that you need to give a reason. This is your purpose. The keywords study and history tell us a subject we are writing about. Why study and history should be underlined. This is asking your opinion, so it requires your voice. Write an essay of 300 to 500 words. This shows how many words you need to write. Remember, the examiner doesn't want to read too much or too little. We have to give both sides of the argument in this essay, so that means we will write two paragraphs supporting our opinion or stand and one paragraph presenting an opposing argument. Now we've analysed the question, we need to do a plan. We're going to write a five paragraph essay consisting of an introduction, three body paragraphs, two explaining our opinion or stand, and the other, the opposing argument, and a conclusion. Now we know our basic structure, we need to choose a method to plan our essay. There are several different ways to do this, such as a spider diagram, a positive and negative table, a flowchart. Today, we're going to use a spider diagram. Next, consider what the main points you want to make are. Decide on your opinion or stand about the question. First, you need to ask yourself these questions and note down your answers. Do you enjoy studying history? Why or why not? Do you think that there is any value in studying it? Why? Why not? This is the basis for your brainstorm. Next, consider the main points you want to make. Decide your opinion about the question. Is studying history a good or bad thing? To answer this essay question, we have decided that it is a good thing. Put your question in a circle in the centre of the page, then write as many ideas as you can for and against the argument. Decide which points are positive and negative. Choose the two strongest ideas to support your opinion. You will need to think of an additional point connected to each, followed by an example, so choose the points you have the most to write about. These will be your main ideas for body paragraphs 1 and 2. Now write a topic sentence for each one. This should summarise the whole paragraph in a short, clear sentence. It will be a general point. The sentences that follow will give more specific information about that point. Check that they are related to the question and your opinion. Yes, they are. Now, imagine someone is arguing against your opinion. What would they say? This is your counterpoint. Now you have the main ideas for each of your body paragraphs. In this video, we have looked at layout, question analysis and planning. Don't forget to keep it simple, write a five paragraph essay. Read the question and circle the clues. They will help you give a correct answer. 
Always plan your essay, your opinion and your topic sentences. For more advice, visit us at Learn English Teams and for more information on our courses, visit us at the British Council website. Our next video in the series is about how to write your thesis statement and paragraphs. Mm -hmm.